Alright, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to ET Ski Tutorials, and this is FPS 1.16. In this episode, we're going to learn how to make the recoil of the gun. So this is the actual Z forward and backwards movement of the gun of what happens when we actually fire a bullet. So, yeah, why don't we just jump right into it. Alright, for this one, we're actually going to have four different variables inside of the gun script. So the first one is recoil amount. And this is the uh, amount in units of distance measurement inside of Unity, um, the amount that the gun is actually going to move backwards for each consecutive gun shot, or each individual gun shot, I mean. Um, and then we have recoil recover time. So we're going to be using a smooth damp function to actually bring the gun back to its default position. Um, and recover or recoil recover time is going to be the approximate number of seconds for the gun to move back from its recoiled position back to its default position. So we're probably going to set this to um, like 0.1. So in 0.1 seconds, it's just going to move back. Um, then we have current recoil Z po pose. Um, so this is current recoil Z position. So this is going to be the position along the Z axis that we're going to be moving the gun. So this is going to be the actual number of how far it's moved forward and backwards along its own Z axis. So and then we have current recoil Z pose V. So current recoil Z position velocity. So this is the velocity variable that we're going to be using inside of the smooth damp function. So yeah, why don't we scroll down to our code. So I gotta move that so it all fits on the screen. Okay, so this bit of code we've actually looked at about three times, or I guess once in the last, or I don't know, past three episodes we've seen this chunk of code a couple of times. But this is the chunk of code that actually, um, when we press left click, it fires a bullet basically. And then we have the two lines of code that we used in our last episode, um, which is going to add the randomization uh, along the uh, X axis rotation and the Y axis rotation. And the one thing we're going to be adding is very simply current recoil Z position minus equals recoil amount. So basically, we are just subtracting um, recoil amount from the current position. Uh, along the Z axis or its own Z axis of where the gun is going to be when it recoils. Um, so we're going into the negatives because the gun moves backwards. And then we have outside of there the smooth damp function that is going to bring the gun back to its default position. So we have uh, current recoil Z position equals mathf.smoothdamp current recoil Z position, so that's the position that we're already at, and then we have zero because we are trying to reach zero. Then we have current recoil Z position velocity, so this is the velocity variable that the smooth damp function will take care of on its own, so just so that it can keep track and create a smooth motion. And then we have recoil recover time, and this is the approximate number of seconds it's going to take our gun to go back to its default position. So this is going to constantly be running, so it's just going to very smoothly bring the gun back to where it needs to be, and then, so this is counteracting this. So this is going to constantly be going, the smooth damp is going to constantly move the gun back to its default position, um, and then this is going to move it in the opposite direction when we fire a bullet. Um, now we actually need to change one line of code that we already had in place. So we had a line of code that uh, set the position of our gun so that it lined up with the camera to the left and to the right depending on how our camera is rotated. So right now we have the position of the camera object and then we have uh, the quaternion uh, that is, or a quaternion that is based on the Y Euler rotation of the camera. And then we are multiplying that by a vector 3 um, of hold side and hold height. And we're multiplying those by ratio hip aims to bring those to the center of the camera and to your side. And then now what we're going to do is we are going to add to that. And remember, this is inside of the parentheses. So that's the 
opening parenthesis and that's the closing parenthesis. So all of that is inside of a parenthesis. Um, and we are adding to, so when you multiply a quaternion by a vector three, you get back a vector three that has been rotated by that quaternion. Um, so all of this right here becomes a vector three. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're multiplying a quaternion by a vector three. So all of this, what I have highlighted right now, is going to just on its own become a vector three. So what we have is a quaternion dot Euler. So we're taking Euler angles, just like we did with the last um, up here, um, except instead of just doing the Y rotation, we are doing the X rotation and the Y rotation. Um, and then we're going to multiply that by the vector three, zero, zero, current recoil Z position. So this is going to ignore the side and height and it's just going to focus on the recoil. And we want the recoil um, to actually change depending on whether we're looking up or down or left or right, um, as opposed to just left and right. Because before, we wanted to leave out the X rotation so that when you look down, you get a certain motion with your gun so that you actually feel like you have arms and like you're looking around. But in this case, um, when you're looking down and you shoot down, the recoil of your gun is gonna go up that way. So we do want to take into consideration the X rotation so that when we are looking down or up, we get to get that recoil realistically. Um, and then we're just multiplying the quaternion that we get from the Euler angles of the X rotation and Y rotation, and we're multiplying it by a vector three that is zero on the X axis, zero on the Y axis, and it's only focusing on the uh, current recoil Z position, which is a negative number, which is gonna bring it back this way. Um, so yeah, that's just a, modif a modification of a line of code that we already had in place. Um, so we're just editing the position of where the gun's gonna be and just getting it ready so that when we do uh, make the recoil of the gun, it actually recoils. So yeah, that um, is everything you need to know on how to uh, make the gun recoil. So I'm gonna cut the green screen and go straight to screen recording and show you how to do that inside of Unity. All right, here we are inside of Unity, and now let's add some actual recoil to the gun. So we're gonna open up our gun script, and let's add the new variables that we need. And those are, let's see, recoil, whoops, uh, mount, and I'm gonna have this be 0 0.5 maybe. And we'll change it later, because I'm pretty sure that's not gonna look good. Um, next we need, was it recoil recover time float and let's have this be 0 0.2 I don't know that might look good now we need what do we need next uh, we need um, two hidden variables at hide and inspector and the first one is what current recoil z position float and default value zero we don't need to change that and let's hide this one too and what was it current recoil oops z pose b and we need to set that as a float. All right, cool. So the first step that we had to do was inside of this little if statement here, which is if the uh, left button is being held and we fire a bullet and all that, uh, we're going to put uh, current recoil Z position minus equal recoil, oops, not capitalized recoil amount cool now we need a smooth damp function um, to move current recoil Z position back to zero so let's see current recoil Z position equal whoops caps locks okay math F whoops not math F yet yeah, math F okay math F dot smooth damp and current 
right? Um, and then the target is zero because we want to smooth damp to zero. And now we need the velocity, which is current recoil Z position V. And the approximate amount of time that it takes for it to get there. And what do we have that as recoil recover time? All right, cool. So now we have the uh, function set up in place so that recoil Z position will smooth damp to zero and it will minus from itself recoil amount every time we shoot a bullet. Now we need to modify the position of our gun so that it actually applies that recoil. So what we need to do is go in here and we just need to add, first of all, quaternion dot er, wait, oops, I always spelled that wrong. Euler and we have target x rotation uh, and then we want the target y rotation and then nothing along the z axis okay so there's our let me try to scoosh this over this is going to be a long line of code but uh, now we have the uh, quaternion made up of the Euler angles target X rotation and target Y rotation so basically how our gun is rotated with the X rotation Y rotation to match the camera um, so now we need to multiply that by a vector 3 which is 0 on the X 0 on the Y and just current recoil Wait, is it recoil Z position or recoil position Z? Recoil Z position, okay. The current recoil Z position. Alright, now let's check our brackets to make sure. Alright, or check our parentheses, I mean. So that parenthesis open and closes there, that parenthesis open and closes there, and I'm pretty sure this parenthesis is going to close at the very end. So yep, all our parentheses match up. So why don't we jump inside of Unity and see what that looks like. Way too much recoil. But at least it's working. So let's minus that amount just a little bit. So instead of 0.5, let's change it to 0.1 and see what that looks like. That looks better. There we go, I'd say that looks pretty good. It looks like uh, the gun actually is shooting and has some force to it when it shoots a bullet. Now all we need is some uh, muzzle flash and some sound effects and we have some pretty good bullets going on right now. So yeah, we'll do that in the next few episodes. So yeah, cool. Uh, see you guys later. Um, till the next episode. Um, and yeah, keep making games.